Toro Rosso Formula One chief Franz Toast has confirmed that Daniel Kvyat is no longer a part of Red Bull's program, with Brendan Hartley and Pierre Gasly poised to race for the junior squad next year. Kvyat was dropped from his Toro Rosso seat after Singapore to make way for GP2 champion Pierre Gasly, but returned after two races out in the United States Grand Prix last weekend. Despite originally planning to field Gasly and KVYT to the end of the season, the latter was shuffled out for Mexico following Porsche LMP1 driver Brendan Hartley's surprise debut in Austin and confirmation for the remainder of the year. Speaking in Friday's FIA press conference in Mexico, Toast confirmed that KVYT was now free to explore racing options outside of the Red Bull program following his dismissal. He is not with Red Bull anymore, and definitely free to decide whatever he wants to do, Toast said. He is not with Toro Rosso or Red Bull anymore. Toast also confirmed that Toro Rosso was closing in on confirming Gasly and Hartley as its full-time drivers for 2018, with the pair set to complete the season together. Both are Red Bull drivers, both are high-skilled drivers, fast drivers. I want to test them for the rest of the season, Toast said. There's a high possibility this will be the driver lineup for 2018. Follow at Luke Smith 1 Lewis Hamilton is heading into the remainder of the Mexican Grand Prix weekend full of confidence after enjoying a strong and consistent long run during second Formula One practice on Friday as he closes in on the driver's title. Hamilton needs only a top five finish in this weekend's race at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez to wrap up his fourth F1 Drivers' Championship, but was a frontrunner throughout Friday, taking second place in both FP1 and FP2. Despite trailing Red Bull's Daniel Ricciardo in second practice, Hamilton is pleased with how his day unfolded despite a big spin, taking particular confidence from his pace over the long runs in preparation for Sunday's race. It's been a good day today, Hamilton said. It did and T really start out great, particularly in the second session with a big spin on my first lap. That really threw off the session and obviously made it a little bit tricky to get the run on the super soft. So I put myself on the back foot. But the single lap and then the long run on the ultra soft was probably one of the best I've ever done. I don't think I've ever done 26 laps that consistent, apart from in the race maybe. We got lots of information, the track was feeling better in the second session once the temperature came up. It was great to see all the fans buzzing already today, in the paddock but also in the big grandstands. So overall a good day. Teammate Valtteri Bottas led the pack through FP1 before fading to sixth place in the afternoon session, but was nevertheless pleased with how his day went. First practice was good, I really enjoyed it. It is such a fun circuit to drive because it has quite a low grip, so it is definitely challenging, Bottas said. We made some setup changes for FP2 which went in the wrong direction. So in the end of the session, we went back to the original setup. For some reason I also struggled to get the tires to work in the second session. That's why it did and t look as good as the first one. But I think it was a positive day overall, I'm looking forward to qualifying. Follow at Luke Smith 1.